Hi, I'm Darren from Blackmagic Design, and today we're looking at the Studio Camera 4K Pro. A perfect camera for a variety of different applications, whether that be for small corporate studios and events, larger live production, um, or even things like houses of worship, uh, retail installations as well. So we'll start by looking at the front of the camera. As you can see, it's a micro four thirds mount, meaning it can be used with a variety of photographic lenses, giving you ultimate choice over what lens you need for what environment. And then it has a 4K sensor, which is a dual ISO sensor, meaning it's perfect for use in lower light environments, giving you real, again, versatility of, of where you use it. Um, this is, again, it's perfect for low light, so think of house of worship, think of maybe conference centers where you don't have a lot of available light. You can use the ISO and increase the sensitivity across that sensor. Coming around to the back, you have a full touchscreen um, HDR display meaning we can change parameters and change settings of the camera directly from the rear. Um, but also, because it is a HDR display, it means it's perfect in brighter conditions. So for outside, uh, and you have bright sunlight, we can increase the, um, the, the display and make sure that that's visible um, to the eye. If we look at the connectivity next, um, as I mentioned, uh, we've got professional connectivity on here. So on the left-hand side, this is where we can bring in all of our XLR audio microphones um, into, the, into the camera. Um, we can also have TalkBack um, directly plugged into the side as well. So we have professional five-pin XLR TalkBack connection. And then coming around to the other side, this is where we take a look at our video connectivity. So as you can see here, we have both SDI and HDMI video connections, meaning we can plumb into a lower format HDMI-based switcher. Um, but if we want extra signal length, we can plug in via SDI. And we have both in and out, meaning we can send video to a switcher, but also bring return video back, which is perfect when working with Blackmagic switches because you can utilize the inbuilt camera control via SDI. Then, Going back to this side again, we have our uh, USB-C connectivity. So in the configuration we have here, we're showing it with our zoom and focus demands, which allows us to drive our lenses directly from the Blackmagic zoom and focus demands, plumbed in via USB-C. But also we can attach external storage to this camera as well. So we could plug in a, um, a USB-C SSD and record directly to Blackmagic RAW. So Blackmagic RAW is a codec which is ideal for high quality yet low data rate. And we can translate that and bring that through into DaVinci Resolve for editing after we've shot the production. So again, looking at today's configuration, we've gone a little bit extra with this one and we're plugged in via Ethernet into the Blackmagic Studio Converter. The Blackmagic Studio Converter allows us to have all of our audio and video data sent down a single Ethernet connection, as well as power over Ethernet. So we can power the camera from the Blackmagic Studio Converter, and all of the connectivity comes into the back of this box and is sent down one single cable. So that's, again, perfect for applications where perhaps you want to have um, less cable runs, you don't want as much weight in your package, but also you might not be able to get power to a specific location. And you can run everything down one single cable directly via Ethernet into this box. And that's one box per camera channel. So we've got a really versatile solution here. It's got the connectivity you need for both HDMI and SDI, but if you do want to expand upon that and you want to send everything down a single connection, then Ethernet into the Blackmagic Studio Converter is the choice for you.